All right, Disney slammed for hypocrisy in wake of their controversial stance on Florida's parental rights bill, the so-called don't say gay bill, which doesn't say that. But I, I digress. Critics pointing out that the entertainment giant offers cruises, get this, cruises to at least three countries with actual anti-gay laws and plans to expand business operations to 10 more. Those, those are some of the countries that they plan to ex expand to. The other countries uh, are Antigua, Dominica, and St. Martin, where being gay is illegal. Let's bring in Lieutenant, uh, Florida Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez to react. Uh, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for being here. What are we to make of this? So one bill very narrowly tailored in Florida that's totally mischaracterized is enough to cause Disney to erupt. But they're willing to do business around the world with countries where it's literally illegal to be gay. Well, Pete, I, I think you're absolutely correct. We stand here in Florida on the right, on behalf of the rights of parents, and it's a sad state of affairs when the most magical place on earth has now digressed into the most hypocritical and woke place on earth. And so, Governor DeSantis and I, we don't take our marching orders from California corporate executives that want to push a radical agenda on our children. And so they can stand there and they can complain and they can criticize and they can threaten that they're going to work to repeal this legislation, but they. They certainly have a lot of work to do within their own ranks. They're doing business with the Chinese Communist Party. They don't care about the human rights abuses that occur night and day. And so it, I think you're right to point out the hypocrisy and the level of hypocrisy that they are willing to sustain. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's staggering. I almost want to put the full screen back up of those countries. Saudi Arabia? Libya? I mean, you, there, not only is there no freedom of, of you know, sexual choice in those countries, free speech, freedom of, uh, of religion, none of it. Yet they're happy to open up and expand into those particular countries. We've heard the outrage from the woke executives and a few people on Zoom calls of the, that have been leaked. What's the reaction been to the governors and, and, and your, uh, to this bill that passed amongst the rank and file, Floridians and Disney employees? Do they understand what you're trying to do here? Well, if they take the time to read the bill, absolutely. The vast majority of Americans, the vast majority of Floridians support this legislation because it does very two very simple things. It requires school districts to provide parents with any change in, in any services being offered, yep. whether it's mental yep. or health care services. And then it prohibits school districts in grades K through three from pushing a curriculum that is based on sexual orientation or gender ideology. If you're a parent, I'm a mom of three. I know many parents are very happy that this legislation was signed by the governor. Absolutely. Real quick on a final topic. We only have 30 seconds. For 55 years, Disney has had a, a law that protects their ability to do really whatever they want. They don't have to ask the government for approval to build on their own properties. Uh, you and Governor DeSantis are, are potentially hinting at stripping that. Is that a possibility? Well, certainly legislators have indicated that they're taking a look at that, and I think it's very important. Mouseketeers have been profiteering for a long time, and so I think that they really need to pay attention to what's going on in the legislature and not get caught up and bullied into taking these radical positions that are not in, in alignment with Floridians' values. As the governor said, under that law that currently exists, Disney could actually build their own nuclear power plant, and the government would have nothing to say about it. Why does one big, woke business get to play by its own rules? It's interesting that uh, you and other Republicans in Florida are looking at it. Lieutenant Governor Nunez, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.